Rahu Bot, Rahu Bot people, Rahu Bot. About to go in, man. We going in. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back over what Kanye West was talking about. Listen, and we gonna see if the brother was off because I think a lot of us just don't know what happened in America. It, we just be saying some outlandish things with our emotions. Our emotions be getting evolved. You know what I'm saying? And we don't think reasonably and logically towards, you know what I'm saying, what some of us might be saying and trying to wake the people's minds up because we've been asleep for the past 6,000 years. You know what I'm saying? So let's go into it. So Kanye West is getting heat because he said, that it sounds like if all of us was here, it sounds like, it sounds like, it sounds like that slavery was a choice. It sounds like slavery was a choice, okay? He said 400 years, right? Boom. Before I go into that, I want to read something. And a lot of us know this as Christians, you've heard it before, okay? But it seems to be making sense right now because you've heard that we've been enslaved for 400 years. Some of us might say we've been enslaved for over 400 years, but is that necessarily true? And is that a fact? Let's find out. Okay, so we're gonna start with Genesis 15, 13. It says, God confirms his promise. I'm going to start from 12. Now when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abram. And behold, terror and great darkness fell upon him. God said to Abram, okay, that word for said is Amar, Amar, to utter, to say. So God spoke to Abram, and it says, Know for certain your descendants, Zira, seed, will be strangers, a sojourner, and a land, iterates, land, earth, that is not theirs, where they will be enslaved. Enslaved, abad, to work, serve, and oppressed 400 years. But I will also judge the nation whom they will serve, and afterward they will come out with many possessions. I'm going to read that again. God said to Abram, Know for a certain that your descendants will be strangers in a land that is not theirs, where they will be enslaved and oppressed. 400 years okay so in this regard many of us think that this is speaking about the Israelites right but you got to remember Abraham had two sons Ishmael and Isaac right he had two sons Ishmael and Isaac okay so, you can basically say Muslims, Hebrews. All right, anyway, I don't want to talk about that. I'm going to talk about this 400 years. As I got broke down here, 1865 was a ratification of the 13th Amendment in 1865, right? 1865. Okay. So the 13th Amendment says there will be no involuntary servitude or slavery, blah, 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 unless you get pulled over by the police. You get charged for a crime. Then you can go into involuntary servitude or slavery. That's 1865. I think 1863 was the Emancipation Proclamation. Now they say the Emancipation Proclamation freed the slaves. It didn't free the slaves, it just transferred power, okay? So, 
slavery was transferred into the 13th Amendment. Okay, and then the 14th Amendment and the 15th Amendment. But here's where it gets interesting. Here's where it gets interesting. Okay. Now, the movie Amistad, which ha happened based on true events, okay, 1839, 1839, so slavery was still going on, 1839, these people got their freedom, right, but anyway, the first Africans, the first Africans that arrived and this is what Dane Calloway has already been breaking down to people. <clears throat> Dane Calloway is, is to me, the, the first young brother to compile it from the Native American side, aside from Dr. Malachi Z. York. Because Dr. Malachi Z. York already looks at himself as a Native chief, all right? So... Dan Calloway is putting this together. So the first Africans, and this is an important, important, important point because it's the first Africans on American soil by European warship. It was a Dutch warship, right? They were intercepted. They were intercepted, and 20 and odd Negroes were taken to Connecticut. How do you spell that? I think it's two T's. Connecticut, okay? 20 and odd Negroes in 1619 was taken to Connecticut forcibly. So they wasn't supposed to be here on a Dutch slave ship. This is important because when they were intercepted, they were intercepted by the Portuguese. The Portuguese called them Negroes. Okay. So with these 20 odd Negroes, yeah, they were Moors. They were Moors. They were from West Africa. They were from West Africa. You know, they say the Moors come from West Africa. All right. Moor, based on definition, has the same meaning as Negro. It's just not on this land, right? The Moor is not on, on this land. The Moor is in Europe and North Africa. Asia. The Orientals, okay? This is a descriptive term. It's a descriptive term to me, okay? It could be whatever you want it to be, a name for a nation and things of that nature. There's no nation of Moors, all right? There's no nation of Moors. You gotta be more specific. Well, anyway, this is where this is important because at 1619, when these 20 and odd Negroes came in, there was no slavery. There was no slavery. Slavery didn't really kick in until the 1700s. There's no slavery, all right? So what's important about this? What's important about this? The slavery really kicked in hard in the 1700s. We were so-called freed in 1865, okay? So that's 165 years. Now, being general, you can go find the numbers yourself, but slavery, what I'm saying is slavery didn't start at 1619 with these 20 and odd Negroes. Slavery started after, okay? So, if we go from 1619 of just the time of these 20 and odd Negroes being on American soil under a Dutch warship, and you subtract that from the ratification of the 13th Amendment, which happened in 1865, then you get 246 years. Within this 246 years is slavery, bondage, slavery, okay? Plus, uh, you gotta check indentured servitude because you know, 
Christopher Columbus came in in 1492 and he came, he called the inhabitants Indians and Negroes. Okay, so for us though, within this political American system, within 246 years. Based on that quote, if we look at 1619 as a time, 1619, 2019, which is next year, is exactly 400 years. So, philosophically, not politically, historically, maybe, you know what I'm saying, depending on where Kanye West is coming from in his mind, you understand what I'm saying? Because I think people forget that Kanye West got a life. Like Kanye West got homies. Like you might be building with your homie on the block. You know what I'm saying? And this this is where you kick your information from. From you reading and then you building with your homies, your brethren, your sistren, you know, in your temples, your organizations. You build and that becomes a part of your expression because that comes becomes a part of your truth. You understand what I'm saying? What do I mean by that? Me being in a, as a, me being a Nawapian me being within my temples, then we share the information amongst ourselves. What we are sharing based on our organization and our science becomes our truth and that's what we express. So I'm saying that people are forgetting that Kanye West has a life. You don't know what Kanye West is dealing with outside of being an entertainer and being in your face. But what he said, in fact, is kind of true. Based on the 13th Amendment, the Emancipation Proclamation, what happened after the 13th Amendment was, was so-called Negroes, the indigenous in America, because the slaves, the Africans were not coming from Africa. They were being sent to Brazil and Cuba and the islands and the Native Americans, us, were taken to, to the islands. They were shipping Africans in from the islands into America. There is no, there is no slave ships that went from America, built in America, to Africa, picked up slaves, so-called slaves, picked up free indigenous Africans of that land and brought them all the way to America. There is, there is no history on that, okay? So you gotta pay attention to that. So the 400 years that Abraham is talking about you either gotta find, now they say that the, the, the so-called Jews, the, the Jews, the Jews, that's Greek and, and, and Israelite. The Hebrews were in, I uh, suppose, Egypt for 432 years or something like that. Now, think of these times, 400 years. That's, that's four centuries. That is a long fucking time, right? So 400 years of bondage based on how they show us slavery, like roots, you know what I'm saying? Nat Turner, whipping niggas. There is no way from 1619 with these 20 odd Negroes that forcibly came into America under a Dutch warship, European warship, for 400 years, starting from these 20 Negroes, we would have never made it. We wouldn't even be existing. We would have been wiped out. We would have been wiped out. You know what I'm saying? So, this 400 years becomes very important now, right? Because you have to ask yourself the question, what happened from 1865 up into civil rights, right? Civil rights. Civil rights just means how the populace, the majority rule is gonna deal with the minorities, basically. Because civil rights, the white people are not concerned with civil rights amongst themselves. They are, they have a ruling class. So how are we going to deal with these so-called slaves that were freed in 1865, which means you had no homelands or anything before that because you were brought here as a slave. What are we going to do with them? Okay, 
So after 1865 and the 13th Amendment, did that free the slaves, the so-called slaves, the so-called indigenous, because it was more indigenous people enslaved than it was Africans, all right? So on American, North American soil, 18, after the 13th Amendment, now this is where it gets funky, right? And I forget the book, it's a white dude that wrote on the vagrancy laws and things of that nature. After 1865, were enforced in states that was in favor of slavery, okay? So, that becomes very important, why? Crispus Attucks. Crispus Attucks is the first mulatto or African American, Native American mix. I'm not gonna say the first. What I mean by the first, he was the first one to die on American soil under European description, right? So. They classified him as a mulatto. Mulatto means Native American and African American, okay? But some say that he was definitely a Native American. The picture of Crispus Attucks in the 1700s is a man of my complexion with an afro, okay? There, he wasn't called, they said they, did, they, they, didn't, they didn't even call him Negro or Black. Now this is up to different stories or whatnot. But what I'm definitely saying is they didn't call him Black. All right? They didn't call him Black. Okay? In fact, his mother was a Natik native. If you look up and see the, these natives here, they are called the praying natives because at this time they were being, or we were being converted into Christianity. You know what I'm saying? All right. So his mom was an Atik native. All right. Christmas Attucks was the was the first uh, native that was killed on American soil in a European political capacity, okay? Because now Christmas Attucks is dealing with the ways of the European, which is dealing with the ways, the ways of the British Empire. And that's what all of this is about, okay? So even after this, you know, there were there was free natives here. There were free people here, you understand? There was there was not 17 Slavery was kind of just starting. You understand what I'm saying? And plus, this is the North. Slavery was kicking off in the South. Why? Because the Africans were being brought in from the islands. The dark-skinned Native Americans was being taken down there. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I would think the Native Americans was being taken down there because they, they wasn't accepting the forced bondage. They was fighting. They don't tell you that. We was fighting these motherfuckers, so they was forcibly taking us down to Cuba because what? The white man is dealing with his industry now. He needs he needs motherfuckers who gonna listen. So yeah, you go get Africans, take them all the way to the islands, fuck them up with Christianity. They don't know language. They don't know what the hell is going on. Bring them into the Americas, and after all of that, you know what I'm saying? They more subservient than the natives, us here. You understand what I'm saying? So, all that, and you can go go do your your research on Virginia and these twenty and odd Negroes and Africans, and then you will put it together. Look up 1865, the Boston Tea Party. You got to understand the Boston Tea Party because that's when these renegades, you know what I'm saying, from their own lands, Britain, they fought against their homeland because they didn't want to be taxed. They start taxing us. 
You understand what I'm saying? They don't want to be taxed. That's the revolutionary war. That's the revolutionary war. We was in the revolutionary war. The revolutionary war is, is a war amongst nations. So we were in the nation of America at this time. You understand? All of the government and everything changed many times. You understand what I'm saying? But after the 13th Amendment, you got the black codes. There are no black people in here. Okay? These are the vagrancy codes that when you were so-called free, you had no job, you had nothing to do. You know, if you look at that times, you had nothing to do, you had no income, you owned nothing, you still had no education. You understand what I'm saying? So, you got Abraham Lincoln in the north. You got a little bum-ass white oppress oppressor down here who mad because he just lost the Civil War. His, his, his industry fucked up. So, of course, they're going to try to keep your ass enslaved. That's what now you enslaved in your mind. You know what I'm saying? So they started picking people up. This is where the identification cards come from. They started picking brothers up, sisters up, that was just roaming, walking around, had nothing to do, nowhere to sleep, things of that nature. Of course, the Americans didn't think about that shit. The false Americans didn't think about that shit. So he was put back into slavery, working on a farm, uh, working in the coal mine, or railroad roads, however they wanted you to work, especially in the coal mines. And you was dying in the coal mines. You know what I'm saying? All this to say that the, the, the Moors, the Wapians, you know, black people, Israelites, or whatever name that you want to choose to call yourself has nothing to do with anything. You need to understand who you are genetically on this planet. You understand that we need to speak from that aspect. We don't need to try to say that we are indigenous and all of that stuff. We are indigenous. We are the first people born on this planet. All right. But every uh, so-called race from us, the Phoenicians, the Hindus, the Orientals, all the way down to the albino, they all get a power play on this planet. But what's going on today is the wake up. It's time for us to wake up. All right. So, being a more ain't going to free you. Calling yourself anything is not going to free you because now we see that this is political. This is political in so far as that the United States is a business. How wouldn't it be a business when they came in and they stopped the British from taxing them so they can create their own taxes and things of that nature? So, it's a business. Right? It's a business. Uh, genetics, chemistry, space, real life, reality, gods and goddesses. Still going. Boom, 23. All right. All right, don't be confused. These are the same words, right? Why? That's the word. That's the word. All right, B and T is interchangeable. In the Bantu Niger Congo languages, in the Afro Asiatic languages, in the Nile of Sahara languages, you gotta understand that. So, subatomics, this is real world. This is beneath um, the understanding of matter, right? And you got atoms. This is thinking stuff, all right? Us. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, plus phosphorus. This is DNA. Also, humanity. It's 
very important that you understand that this word because we are all melaninites on this planet. In order to be on this planet, in order to deal with the electromagnetism, you have to have some form of melanin in your body. There's a difference. They're pheomelanin. Go look this up. You understand what I'm saying? They are sulfur-based beings. Asteroids, meteorites hit the planet 66 million years ago. This changed the atmosphere. What was released into the atmosphere was this sulfur. Now, the white man didn't start 66 million years ago. This sulfur had to go through a cycle, right? It had to go through a cycle. Basically, this cycle produced albinos. Not just albino humans, anything that breathes, right? Anything that breathes. You look at animals, animals have color. Animals have color. Now, dig this, a, a, a monkey or an ape. Which are beings of the moon. Okay, gotta go back to the primates. This is when this shit happened. For us, we go all the way back to the reptile, to the waters, you understand what I'm saying? If you shave a, a monkey or a gorilla or, or ape, he's gonna have sulfur-based skin. He's gonna be a theomelaninite. All right, theomelaninite. This this is not like a um. This is not something that we're saying to clown the white man. It's the truth. If you have pale skin, then you are theomelaninite. Cysteine based being. Cysteine based being. And hey, y'all should be taking notes on this shit, man. It's, and go look it up for yourself. You know what I'm saying? I spent years and years doing this research. Now it's just, it just rolls off the head now. We all need to be where it's rolling off the head now. He's a cysteine based being. Okay? Now, what is there? What is their chemical, their chemical composition of the original CHOP is lunacy. Alright? Because they're almost anti-nature. They don't have the full code. For you melanin like us. Right? And how you see the difference in between the two when you look at a C-H-O-N, uh, a carbon, hydrogen, oxygen bond? Give me a minute. I'll look it up. I'll draw it for you. Okay, so when you see the bond, right, it'll be something like, I'm going to just draw a, just a simple. All right, it'll be a block, right? In fact, that happened.
Right. So make sure we still honey. Let's wrap it up. Alright, so like what a chemical bond, chemical this is called tyrosine, tyrosine unloads in a in a polymer chain. Same with DNA. So as they say, you, DNA is like long. It's just wrapped up. It's, it's miles and miles and miles of information long. It's just wrapped up. Same thing happens with tyrosine, which goes into your dopamine. Right? This, this is your God power right here of activity and energy and all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? With this, either you a you a you a you a God. You know what I'm saying? You a pump. This this is what does that to you. Okay. So this chain. These bonds, these chemical bonds, man, are strong bonds. You can't, can't break these bonds. These bonds are bonds from the beginning of time in the water and DNA. You know what I'm saying? Prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells and things of that nature. But with, with this chemical code, how you tell the difference between cysteine and tyrosine is I believe like in one of these, it'll be like a S. You know what I'm saying? When you look through the chain, a eumelanin chain, and a pheomelanin chain, you see the difference, you will see an S in the cysteine chain, which goes back to that sulfur base, which goes back 66 million years ago. It tells you, NASA just told you, they just released that. You know what I'm saying? That this cycle went in into the atmosphere. Real flesh and blood gods and goddesses, uh, some people, real some people, with you melanin skin, olive skin, copper tone skin, red skin, you know what I'm saying? However you want to call it. The, the black, what they call it, like the black, brown, yellow man, red man, white man, you know what I'm saying? That might go there and there. This, this is what us as Noonie Bulls is dealing with and the Wapians is dealing with. Because our science is scientific, right? This, the, these descriptions and what happens based on these descriptions, these descriptions like the senses and shit like that, it's, it's scientific racism. scientific racism this is this is this is something that they taught this is not the truth and that's what they got us in in history and and, and politics and understanding what really happened on this planet the, the history books is fucked up as I as is being it's being proven by many of us as I just proved Dane Calloway is killing them you know what I'm saying that we're not in our right minds all right so you gotta follow the information that's talking about you being in your right mind. And the only information out there talking about you being in your right mind is the WAPO Hey man, I be hearing shit sometimes, man. I be scaring the shit out of me, man. You never know what the fuck is going on, man. Excuse that, I just gotta prepare more. See, that was dopamine. I was like ready to goddamn. Anyway. Simply, it's based on the number nine. <laughs> this is the God of letters. I mean, the God of numbers, right? Nine months to the baby being born out the vortex womb. But the number nine is the symbol of our hair. That's the solenoid. This is what's coming off the sun. You understand what I'm saying? This right here is fire. Rising, you understand? Solar plexus. Sun core, right? Just like an umbilical core. But anyway, here's the last kicker. When you talk about the Moors, anybody with dark skin is a Moor. 
where the Moors fall short and explaining who they really are, they don't have this here. So I say, what is a Moor? Dark Moors with dark skin. The difference is some of them got straight hair, right? But the real Moors, that's a European term. Afro. So anything that's being built up, the first things that was being built up were the trees, the bushes, you understand what I'm saying? Which made us grow up because we gotta reach up to get fruit and things of that nature. But our, our hair, right? So everything is based on this energy. Why does their hair fall? Ours rises. We got the same skin tone, right? We got the same skin tone. So when you start tackling what I'm talking about right now, you start to, you're waking up. You're still stuck in all the moors is the same. You know, you're going by the white man's definition of history and you don't want to change it. And what I mean by change it is, say you got kids, like my kids, they're not coming home with no lies. You know, they're going to be educated two ways. The teacher's going to tell them something. They're going to come tell me. I'm going to look over the work and I'm saying, this is wrong. We're going to make it right, take it back. And then I want the teacher to say something to me. Then we got a problem. My, my kids is not going to be indoctrinated by uh, Christianity or white Europeanism. There is no white supremacy. You understand what I'm saying? There is no white supremacy. They are the majority here based on their laws, rules, and statutes, and things of that nature. You think it's white supremacy. These people, their vibration, brain waves is weak. They're not intelligent. They steal things. You know what I mean? They steal things. What they do is capitalize on it. And they stick up for themselves, and that's how they're able to do it. They have a, a, they have a secret that if we hate each other, in the face of any other race, we stick together. That's the bonds we need to create. If I don't like you, that's fine. In the face of somebody else, we need to stick together. You understand what I'm saying? I don't need to hate you so much where I'm going to let an infiltrator come in and infiltrate our shit. That's where they got us at. You understand what I'm saying? So the 400 years that Kanye West is talking about, it ends next year. It ends next year. So I already said 2018. 8, 9, 10, 11. It's an 11 year. It's the year of change. Right? Always new ways. Always new ways. Right? And then that change, you either can ascend and transcend up or further descend down into obscurity and nothingness based on your mind. From 1619, if you want to start from those 20 and high Negroes, because we was here before 1492, right? If you want to start from the 20 and high Negroes, you were African American and you were African and you're not a Native American and all that, then for you, you've been in this country starting next year for 400 years been in slavery within 246 years and your arrival was 1619 by force open your minds people put it together man because the awakening is on us and some of us are ascending on this planet right now you know as proper star beings you understand it's the stars that got all the information within the atoms that's within the cells and the molecules and things of that nature. It's thinking stuff. So I hope y'all enjoyed that video, man. Like I said, look it up and start spreading the information around because that's the only way that we're going to wake up. 
that this stuff that we talking right now becomes common knowledge, just like slang. We stay true to it, just like we stay true to hip hop. We need to stay true to our minds, our traditions, and our cultures, and know where we coming from and who we are on this planet. Because the 13th, the 14th, and the 15th Amendment, we need to talk about that. That shit needs to be changed. You know? And I believe in the Constitution. It says if you don't agree with the Constitution, you can change that. A nation of people are people who come together and agree on one common cause for survival, love, truth, justice, peace, humanity, blah, blah, blah. You understand what I'm saying? Not under a name, just in agreement. We just need to agree. You understand what I'm saying? Rath Baba Castle, Bossy Wright, the infamous Newbie King, the intelligent nine knowledge. Have a great one.